good everyone and welcome back for another showcase now that i actually do have some time to chill over the weekend uh, i definitely did want to catch up on content but i've had this guy uh footage you know sitting in reserve for quite a long time finally came around to uh showcasing the units for those guys that have followed me for a while you do uh i'm, I'm sure you guys remember how much i actually love this unit as a as a personal favorite uh for those unaware this is the uh uh, Super Tech, uh, Super Saiyan Future Gohan. Now this is definitely an, an, a pretty old unit. I mean, the unit came out in September 8th of 2016 and, um, you know, no easy A's or anything at this point, but, uh, I mean, this guy's okay from a longer battle standpoint. I think really uh, the defensive liabilities uh, certainly an issue, and we'll talk about all the details here in a second, but I just wanted to do a, a max level link showcase with this unit because, again, this is one of my personal favorites in terms of, like, you know, the card itself, not necessarily from uh, a top tier unit um, hierarchy standpoint or whatever. So um, yeah, that's that's pretty much uh, just a summary of the unit. So let's talk about the details. So for the uh, leader skill, it's gonna be a tech type attack increase to 70%. Uh, super attack does fortunately greatly raise attack and causes extreme damage to enemies. So imagine this guy being a little bit better with the uh, defensive side, but also uh, having the supreme damage multiplier versus extreme along with the greatly raising attack ability with the uh, with the super this guy could potentially be very good with the easy a now passive skill is an attack defense increase to 70 percent when hp is 80 percent or below so obviously uh this little hp restriction does make things a little bit difficult in terms of you know fully util utilizing the unit to the the full potential so remember this guy you do have to drop the hp levels down for your team uh you know, 80% or below in order to get that boost of 70% toward attack and defense. Uh, from a link standpoint, uh, if we kind of check the link setup here, he's got Golden Warrior, that's all enemies defense minus 10% and key plus one. Uh, that is at level 10. Uh, Super Sand should be, um, this thing is like stalling for whatever reason, level 10. Attack increase of 15%. And uh, prepare for battles, key plus two, attack and defense, increase of 5%. Experienced fighters is also attack increase of 15% at level 10. Kamehameha's attack increase of 10% when performing a super attack. Uh, goddamn pop-ups. Uh, uh, Dismal future is key plus two and a chance of performing a critical hit plus 5%. And then this guy does have shattering the limit, which is key plus two and attack and defense increase of 5%. Uh, a lot of categories for this unit, hybrid Saiyans, future saga, uh, Goku's Family, Super Saiyans, Android Cell Saga, Kamehameha, Bond of Master and Disciple, All Out Struggle, and Connected Hopes. Um, from the uh, stat standpoint, at 100%, you're looking at HP of 13,820, attack is uh, 13,636, <clears throat> and defense is 9,131. 12 key multiplier is 140%. And for this showcase video, I did want to link this guy up predominantly with the, uh, you know, the transforming future go on. Um, you'll see that, you know, basically the link setup's pretty good between the two units, just similar to uh, the physical type as well, you know, linking up with the, uh, the int version. So I did want to kind of replicate the similar similar story in that regard. But again, I would love for this guy to get an easy A. It's only a matter of time before this happens. And, I, <clears throat> you know, based on the current trends of, of how they apply Extreme Z Awakenings, this guy does have the potential to be very good. The only thing missing, I you know, for me is... Well, I guess two things if we're being honest. Uh, I, I really do not like that HP has to be below 80% or less in order to get that boost of attack and defense of, of 70%. So I wish they would make it a little bit better like in terms of like having a base increase and then if the HP is 80% or below, you get an additional uh, percent boost toward attack and defense. You can, you know, you can incorporate other gimmicks on top of that. But, um, I you know, at the very minimum, that's what they should do. Uh, I would love to see the extreme damage multiplier change to Elisa Supreme. I think it's more than, uh, it's not too much to ask for, you know what I mean? So, um, I, I think if these little kinks are worked out, this guy could be uh, somewhat very relevant again. So, uh, again, like this is one of those, um, I, don't, I wouldn't necessarily say a sleeper unit, but I, I feel like a lot of people forget about this unit. But you know, for longer, tougher battles, you definitely do have the ability to stack up that attack uh, to a fairly decent number. And you saw my potential level systems. I went with, initially before I applied the uh, skill orbs, um, I, w I actually, surprisingly, because this was done a long time ago, I went with the level 9 additional attack and uh, level 17 crits. Now, the right way to do it, honestly, is probably level 15 additional attack and, and uh, level 11 for crits, but... 
I made up for the, the lack of additional attack levels by applying the skill orbs. So as you saw, I believe it was level 15 additionals and level 17 crits. I think it's a pretty balanced uh, distribution overall where you know, you do at least have a combination of, of additionals and crits activating uh, pretty or, or frequently enough, I would say. So, again, I'm looking forward to the, the easy A for this unit. He, he certainly needs it. Um, probably not as desperate as some of the other units, but nevertheless, this guy certainly uh, could use one because I, I, I personally like this card a lot. I, the other thing, too, is I don't think this unit has the uh, sticker effect ability. So, I, I you know, with the easy A's, they do come out with... Uh, sticker effects for the unit, so uh, I would love to be able to apply the, um, the the effect on the card for this guy because I personally like the way it looks. I, I think um, you know the card art's pretty nice. The uh, the unit itself is not overly terrible. Yes, it's a little bit outdated, but um, you could still somewhat manage. I think again, ultimately the uh, defensive liability is is pretty large on this guy. So it also your your attack levels are dependent on. I guess one, how long the battle itself is, and number two, uh, getting that H, you know, simply getting the HP below or 80% or below in order to get that 70% boost for both attack and defense. So again, with the easy A, I would I would expect some sort of, you know, base uh, base increase to attack and defense, regardless of uh, the HP criteria, but also you know maybe an additional attack of like you know 70% to attack and defense based on you know HP being 80% or below you know something like that like a combination of like let's say I don't know a boost of like 60% uh, base of, of attack and defense increase and additional 70% based on having that HP below you know 70% or, or 80% I mean I think that'd be reasonable and you know obviously you can apply some different gimmicks on you know key changes or you get uh, you know guaranteed additionals or crits based on certain type category enemies or whatever the case is but at the bare, bare minimum that's what I would look for and then also you know simply changing the extreme damage multiplier to at least supreme I, I think that's I think that's uh, been done in the past right with the um, easy A's they actually change the damage multiplier correct me if I'm wrong but if they don't, it's going to be a little bit of a struggle, I think, because let's be real, extreme damage, I mean, that's, you don't really hear about, uh, you know, summonable units only having that uh, damage multiplier, so I think it's a little bit, a uh, little bit outdated. I don't know, like the Kaioken Goku units that did get easy A's, I can't remember if that actually improved from, from extreme to supreme. Um, I on, on the top of my head, I can't necessarily remember if that was the case or not, but... I don't know. We'll, we'll see what happens with it. Ultimately, at the end of the day, this guy definitely needs it. It's just a matter of when it's going to come about. You know, Sand Day's coming up. Um, I don't know. I've been hearing a lot of noise about, um, you know, Broly potentially being, you know, the, uh, the Dokkan Fest for Sand Day banners or whatever. And I don't know. Like, I, I simply don't know what to expect when it comes to that regard. Um, we'll just have to kind of wait and see what happens. But. Yeah, eventually, maybe in a future Saga-oriented celebration uh, at some point down the road, maybe this guy will get the um, Extreme Z area to be able to easy a this guy. And, you know, I don't expect this guy to be absolutely broken. I think for the most part, uh, the units that do have to go through the Extreme Z areas to, to get the easy a they're not, they're not, you know, ridiculously top tier again. They're more or less... Um, good enough to be able to be able to use on on some of the current builds and, and whatnot and I think you know realistically speaking that's all I would expect out of this unit is just like best way to put it is with the improvement with the easy a I think as long as it's it's at the level of uh, let's say the Trohan you know the intelligence version ult uh, not ultimate but um, Super Saiyan Gohan unit that uh, people tend to get confused with the uh, LR or whatever but that and also the um, super intelligence type uh, Super Saiyan Trunks that also got an easy A at the same time. I think it was just like a week apart or something like that. As long as, as, long as this guy's easy A is, is in the realms of that, I think it's more or less good enough for me. You know, and, and I would probably end up using this guy a little bit more often and you know testing out the unit in different scenarios or whatever. But this is one unit I, I would like to see get an easy A. Uh, Saiyan Day, I will say this. I would like to see the, um, you know, Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan Bardock units to get an easy A through, you know, the Extreme D areas. I think that would be an appropriate time. I thought they would do it with the Saiyan Day with the uh, Transforming Bardock that came out, but unfortunately they didn't. So hopefully the uh, the strength type, 
Uh, the tech type and physical type Bardock, Super Saiyan Bardock units you know, are Super Saiyan 2 as well, but I hope those guys get an easy A. That'd be great if they did it. Um, you know, I, I really need those guys to get an easy A because it's, it makes team building, it'll make team building a lot better. So we'll see what the uh, tech future Gohan's easy A coming down at some point, you know, down the road or whatever. But hopefully, if, you know, at least for the time being, you guys enjoyed a little bit of a forgotten unit with the uh, max level links showcased on, you know, some of the different scenarios. So. As always, I do appreciate you checking out the videos, and uh, until the next one, certainly um, stay tuned. And, and I have plenty of archived footage for different unique units that I haven't showcased yet, so definitely be on the lookout for that. All right, with that being said, I'm out of here. All right, peace out.